This is a review of the ship simulator by planetinaction.com. I think this is a fantastic simulator using the Google Earth plugin. Okay, first you should look at the uh, keyboard shortcuts, and you can hide that by hitting the H key or clicking up there at the tab. Let's find a good ship. I like the refuel ship because it's very maneuverable. So here's one of the 3D ships and you can zoom in with the Google Earth controls and notice that the ship is rocking in the seas. He simulated the, uh, the motion of the seas as it moves along. And you can look at different angles. There's camera selection options, view selections, that let you look at different perspectives so you can get a good idea of where the ship is at all times. Okay, well before we get starting, started, the first thing you should do when departing is push the foghorn. <laughs> to let the whole world know that you're uh, going to be departing. We'll start up the engines and the engine noise gets old so you might want to shut that off. There's a keyboard shortcut to shut it off. Okay so you have a number of different camera choices up in the upper right. The one with the head on it is probably the most useful because it it means your head is locked relative to the ship in your current view. You can change that view uh, with the mouse and the head motion will stay there. Um, you can still change, use the view selector to change to other views as well, and again, your um, head stays relative to the current position for that view, even while the ship is moving. So here you can see I'm uh, readjusting the view so I can get a good perspective, and notice the uh, wake being generated by the engines and the ship. I really like this visual effect that uh, Paul has created. It's just a really awesome looking thing. Uh, he's done a great job with simulating uh, visual effects. Okay, so that's a good shot at one of the ships where uh, uh, we've turned, made a big turn with the wheel. I used the keyboard shortcuts to make the wheels or the arrow keys uh, to make the wheels turn. Uh, you have to get used to the um, indicator that shows the current position of the rudder um, and the fact that ships move a lot slower than you might expect. And here's some of the different camera modes. This is the movie mode. So once you fix your move, your camera position, the camera keeps pointing at the ship as it moves. Uh, you also notice that the uh, position in the map in the center, lower center, also um, keep showing your position in 2D like a chart plotter. Um, I've now uh, pushed the throttles back so I'm reversing engines to slow us down. And now I'm going to press the anchor button to show what the deploying the anchor sounds like. Okay, I've switched over to the cruise ship that's in the simulator, and here what you have is the Queen Mary 2. And uh, here you can get some different perspectives moved around the 3D view, and you can see it's a beautifully modeled 3D model of the uh, ship. And this time I'd like to put, my, put us into the bridge deck, just as if you're the skipper of the ship. You can maneuver our view to get it just like we want, and then switch to the head mode and we'll blast the foghorn. So now we're ready to depart. We move the throttle forward. And uh, one of the cool features Paul's added here, I really like this, is if you hold down the shift key while in the head mode, you can turn your view as if you're turning your head at that spot. And this is a really great feature. I, I wish uh, Google would add this as a built-in feature to um, the plugin or, or Google Earth itself. But it's especially cool in the simulator. Anyway, let's change our views around with the view selector so you can take a look at the ship departing. So here it is as it's leaving the port, looking at it from above, looking at it from behind. And let's move ourselves over towards the dock and uh, 
and uh, we'll switch to movie camera mode so you can watch it leave as if you're sitting here fixed and move ourselves down as if we're uh, one of the uh, remaining family members uh, watching our family and waving at them on the ship leaving. So this simulator is just really, really cool. I love the way it works. It's visually stimulating and uh, and it's amazing how it demonstrates the plugin. Uh, this is the uh, first serious application that, that I've seen come out that really demonstrates the power of the Google Earth plugin to be used for uh, a gaming or simulation application. Um, before we leave here, I'd like to show one last ship that uh, has been tossed in here. Uh, if you uh, s scroll down in the, the list of ships to the very bottom on the, on the middle right, uh, you'll see there's a Zeppelin or airship. And uh, here, let me uh, move the view around so you can get a good look at this uh, particular airship. Because if you uh, zoom your way in to the front and look closely, uh, I don't know if you can read it here, but it says the Hindenburg. So yes, this is your opportunity to fly the Hindenburg. So this is the review of ships by planetinaction.com. It was developed by Paul Van Denther in New Zealand. And this is a fantastic application. I suggest you check it out.